Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And for today's video, we are going to install the Tours Delete Kit for the part three of the Banshee build that we've been doing. I know it's been a long time since we did a part three or part anything for that Banshee build, but but we're gonna do the Tours Kit for the stock Banshee carbs. I already got these tore apart. I got the jets tore out and everything like that and uh, they're ready to be drilled what you have to do too when you get the uh, tours delete kit there is a uh, spot on the side of the carburetor uh this one's the left carburetor this one's the right carburetor it's right up above shit i can't see and don't have my man glasses on but all right yeah it's this side here i've seen a lot of videos where people when they're doing these tours delete kits they are i mean they're stripping it down like i did like this but they're going on the choke side of the carburetor on this side which is fine right there and i seen one guy when he does a tours delete kit he put it on the inner side of the uh, right carburetor which I don't understand why he did that. And the window for the plunger and everything's on the left side. Or on the right side, I'm sorry. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've seen people put these tours leak kits on either side of the carburetor. So I don't really think it even matters. But I guess it does. I don't know. But I'm going to do it as I think it should be done. But I'm going to put it on the outer side where the window is see the window on that side right there all right so here's the plungers for them and like you we all know there's a like a half moon cutout on the on your plunger and that goes back backwards to the back of the carburetor towards your air filters in the back of your air box yeah, I mean, if you switch them around, they'll go in, but it, it, I mean, this part right here is a flat side and it won't suck the air right or push the air right. So you even got guidelines inside your carburetors too on how these things go in and your guidelines right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's, it's down in there. But uh, yeah, that's what this groove slides in. And when you put your towards leak kit in, that screw is gonna go in here so it'll help adjust your uh, plunger in and out but uh yeah like you see i got everything tore out I'm gonna pan over here got the jets out and everything and let's go over to tours delete what you get is your new throttle cable it comes in two you take that tours delete off of that ugly ass box is on sitting on top of your carburetors and your decent size throttle cable don't look very long but apparently it fits but yeah there's the throttle cable like that and we'll go over that here but yeah let's put this down down here and goes inside this kit that we got we got the uh your rubber gaskets for your caps they go in there you get the two new caps you get your drill bit and you get your your tap so i don't have a tapper so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up putting a screwdriver putting our putting this in a uh, drill i'm sorry i want to put this in the drill and we're going to drill it in there after we drill with the drill bit but uh, yeah, like I said, we had to sand these down first, make them flush, so your screws will sit in there flush like that. If not, if it's crooked, I don't know if you can see, but if it's crooked, you'll get air sucked in there. But we don't, we don't want air sucked in there. So hopefully, when we do it, it'll be pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's put these together. Then like that first. This is my first delete kit, so you guys are gonna have to deal with me. 
<laughs> the only thing you got to make sure of is you get your carburetors right and your plungers right when you put them all back together and you uh you drill it good screw these all the way back i'm not going to rejet it right now i want to see how it runs when we do the delete kit and if it runs like shit i'll, I'll end up rejetting it but uh, this banshee here was going to be mine and was going to put the big board kit and everything on it but i'm going to i ended up giving it to the wife and I got another banshee frame, and I'm going to start building it up from the frame up, or from the ground up. And uh, we're going to start doing uh, videos on that when we do it from the ground up. So yeah, I, I give this one to the wife, so I'm not going to rejet it and make it too awful fast. I'm just going to put the exhaust on it, the delete kit. And uh, I think that's probably about it. I, she, she's talking about new plastics and stuff too, but I don't know. Let's get started with this. I don't want this to be a 35 minute video. I gotta get my own hand glasses on and we're gonna pan down. We'll probably start with the left carburetor first. I didn't take this out. I don't think, I don't see no reasoning why you would have to take this out, the, the choke. Because when you're drilling these out, you're drilling out this side here and it's going down in. I don't know if you can see the, the drill bit, but it's gonna be down in here sitting on the side like this and you don't have nothing to worry about with that damn choke people take it out you don't need to as long as you got all the jets and stuff out of them and you got them cleaned uh it should be all right i mean you gotta get your brake cleaner or carb cleaner and so you can do it the right way but yeah let's get ready to drill this out i'm gonna have the camera and <clears throat> pull these carburetors pretty level for me so when we drill them we're gonna drill them straight we want these straight straight and level start real slow with it You can see the shavings come out, so I'm gonna spray a little bit of carb cleaner in them. Just to wet it up a little bit, like that. Just to keep it so it ain't getting too awful hot when we're drilling it. It's almost through already. drilled through so what we're going to do now since it's drilled through like that is uh go in and out a few times just to make sure it's clean like that see so look at that what it comes out but uh yeah let's keep it as clean as we can i can see you can see down in there the grit is the reason why they want you to pull the jets and stuff out once you got this carb cleaner you can spray it out so the shit ain't getting down in there. Like that. And perfection. All right. So next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap it. You only need to tap this thing down so far. I mean, your your screw only goes down so far. So, uh, let's get this going. recommend a lot of people doing it this way but I do it this way because I don't have the tap we'll clean this back out and we'll run it back down again and I don't know 
if you can see that on the inside or not. Yeah, you can see it on the inside. It's where it came up with all that gunk and stuff. But we'll uh, we'll spray it out again real good. Watch your eyeballs. Getting more on me than <laughs> inside. Yeah. <clears throat> And it's pretty clean in there now. Let me get this a little bit here. And from what I can tell, this carburetor is almost complete. I'm making sure there's no more shavings in there. That will go up inside of the all right. So what we're gonna do is screw that piece in there. I'm gonna run it in all the way until it gets tight. And I got a screw right over here. I thought they had a big one, but this will work. The screwdriver. No, that won't work. I got a screwdriver here somewhere. Let's see if that fits in there good. And what I'm thinking what we're gonna have to do is uh probably sand it down a little bit more. Because when we're putting that in there, you can see that that nut has kind of got a gap on this side. Right? Yeah, just a hair, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to sand this one side down just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, give us a minute. We're going to pause this up. i got a screwdriver here somewhere that uh, we're going to need. Give me a minute. All right, what we did was uh, off camera, because I don't want to try to keep this video too long. I ended up uh, filing this down a little bit more right here so we can get this nut to set flush. And we ran this screw all the way in. Then we backed it out three turns. Then when we back it out three turns, that should be pretty much where we need it so we can start adjusting it. Um, so... Let's get started with the other one and we'll show you on the other one what we did. But let me get soon let me put this in there for you. So like I said, this plunger here will go down in there. You find that groove. You find that groove and it'll go right down in there. Alright. Then on the back of the carburetor, you can see that where it's lifted. Right there. In the front, there's a little bit of gas so you can see through it, but we'll have to adjust that when we uh, put the carbs on there and when we, uh, when we go to start it. But, uh, all right, so we'll take that plunger back out and I'll show you how to put the cable and the stuff on there after we get this one here done. So we're going to start on this one now. Hopefully this one here is pretty flush too, hopefully, because I can see on this side that it's a little lower it looks like on this side we might have to uh file it down i don't know but we'll try it when we uh get that in there so what we're going to do first is uh take the tap back out like that put the drill bit in there and uh spray it down a little bit without spraying the kobe Just like that Pap used to say a little bit of it level. a little bit of oil and stuff like that. It makes your hands last longer. Yeah. As long as we hold it level, we should you should go in there right.
said, we'll clean out the drill bit a little bit. Then we'll run it in again. Like that. Then we'll spray it. We'll clean it out real quick before we uh, go too crazy with it. We don't want too much of that junk in these carburetors since the carburetors are pretty good. So, uh, yeah. And like I said, you can see, hold on, that's kind of, on this side. You can see that drill bit going in there. You don't want to push down so hard that when you hit the back of the carburetor, you're going to start drilling out the other side. You don't want that. So, uh, yeah, you just have to be careful. Now, this one here, I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see this, uh, this tap going in there. If I can get it on there. Okay. Put it up like that so we can see oh, the tap oh, go going through. in there. If we can hold it right. It's already in. Run it out. Run it back in. Like that. So that's good. And you don't have to throw away these these die these tap and dies, this drill bit and this stuff. You can uh, reuse it on another set of carburetors if you want to. So right now we're just gonna spray it back out. You said that kit came with that? Yeah, the kit that's comes nice. with it. Yeah. They didn't cheap you. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, they didn't cheap me. This time you can go buy five things for one thing. Yeah, so all right, so now we're gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> we're gonna get our screw. We're gonna screw it in all the way until she gets tight. I mean, barely, barely you can see it stop. Like that. And that is setting flush it looks like so that's all we got to do there then we got to back it out like i said before to three turns out so see right there where it just stops so that's half one half two half three right there so we're gonna hold it there tighten down the jam nut and tighten it up. Like that. And right there is <clears throat> how you drill and tap. And like I said, that three turns out like that, I got that from another YouTuber that I watched and uh, helped guide me on my way because this is the first Taurus kit, delete kit that I'm doing. And uh, that's how he set his. So we're gonna find out, you know what I mean, later on when we start the four wheeler up, if that is uh, the right not, it, the right setting for it. If not, I mean, all we gotta do is just adjust it. So I'm gonna move these carburetors real quick and flip this towel to get, get a clean spot on this towel. If I can find a clean spot. Like that. So we can do this other work on it. Like that. Remember, when you're plunger, when you're floor on your banshee, it's always on your left hand. Your left hand, and uh, when you're drilling them out, like I just showed you, I mean, I've seen a lot of people take these uh, chokes out. But you don't really, you don't have to. I mean, most of your shaving is going to be on the bottom end, and when we spray them out, look, no, no nothing. And uh, I mean, you can hit them with the air hose, and you can spray them and spray them. But, uh, 
you got everything out. So what we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna put the guts and everything back into these carburetors. And we're gonna start with the left one first. Uh, we're gonna put the little bludger back in it right here. It should just snap down in place. Then we're gonna put your little holder in there. You don't have to hawk man these things i mean it's as long as they're snug then we're going to put we're going to put your little jet in it drop it down in your little jet I wish I had a smaller screwdriver, but this is good. Then you got to take your washers off or they'll just pop out. Put your bigger jet back on. And they are marked at 240. The stock ones are 240. <clears throat> so we're going to tighten it back down. Why I'm using such a big wrench, I don't know. That's for just the first thing I grabbed. Big wrench, big screwdriver. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and right there. You don't have to hawk man these jets either. I mean, they're, they're jets. They're, they're just made out of brass. Then your divine, I don't even know what the hell these things are called. But uh, they go on there, right there, and it goes down inside of your jet. And just fit over top of it. It'll like maybe that. like a control flow. Yeah, it's like a gas control uh, yeah. piece of plastic thing. I don't know. I don't know the technical term for it. But uh, then we'll put this back on. Remember, these are a pain sometimes. There you go. It's in the way. So they just go over top of this clippy right there. Like that. Then... They go down inside of here, like that. Then we'll put the little pin back in it. I don't know if you can see it better on this side or the other side. But the pin goes back in there, like that. And the rubber piece. this and the carburetor the bottom get on there get on there yeah like that and we screw it down now it wants to be a magnetic tip. It was never, never, never a magnetic tip until I started working on this carburetor. Now we'll tighten this side. So this is probably going to be the uh, carburetor tours delete video. However, we want to put it. <laughs> But I guess this is how you can rejet them too. I mean, it shows you to put the jets back in them. I mean, just do a reverse, take the jets back out. Like that. Tighten it down. And there's one carburetor almost back together. And uh, the rest of it's just a clippy. And uh, plungers. Yeah, we didn't mess with the needle or anything. I mean, 
we didn't change locations of the the needle. I mean, you can put them on different levels, but we didn't do nothing. We're we're keeping it stock. Only thing we're doing is getting rid of the the tour set on there. So uh, let me turn my light off. Okay. So it's the same thing on this one, and this is the right carburetor. And so we'll start with this. Just push it back down in there. It just fits like that. Satisfying pop noise. Pop. Satisfying, yeah. Put that in there like that. Man, I got the fat thumbs today. It's just when you're working on little tiny stuff. Tighten it down. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this video quick. And the last thing I do with the video though is uh, we'll put the uh, jet, the washer, and the jet. If we can see that good. Like that. 240 jet. Yeah, right there, 240. I don't know if you can see it or uh, not. That's way too small, I think. Yeah, 240. Maybe. I might have got it. Yeah, they might be able to pause the video and see it. Yeah, pause the video and look or zoom in it. But yeah, like that. We'll give it a good snug. Right, lady. Right, the right fit. And uh, we'll put the other jet in there. Drop it down there. screwdriver just just a hair too big for them little jets but all right i'll put this back in here like i said it goes in that hole like that then like i said for this it goes around there sits in there. I don't know if you can see it real good, but it just slides down in there like that. Put the pin in to hold your float. If I can find a hole, put hair around it. That's not one to go. Get in there. Maybe I'm doing it wrong handed. So doing a, to the delete kit, I mean, it, it once you find out that you have to uh, drill and stuff, it's kind of like a turn off, like you don't want to do it because, oh, I'm going to fuck something up. I'm going to screw it up. Don't be worried. Man, just do it. Yeah, just do it. You're not going to screw anything up, not unless you drill the wrong side of the carburetor. But like I said, I've seen people drilling these delete kits on either side of these carburetors. I mean, it was kind of weird. I call that guy on YouTube to do it whenever I need something like that done. <laughs> you know that Bill guy? Yeah, that Bill guy. You know that dude on YouTube? <laughs> these long-winded screws now I'm trying like I'm trying people to get this in detail for you hopefully I did it but if it, it you just like I said if you're stuck on something just rewind the video if I went too fast and just make sure your plungers you keep your plungers on the right side so uh, let's get the cable and put these on there so, it's going down like this, so we're going to put the, like 
this. These cables are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. So the caps or the the torch kit came with a new rubber, so you could throw these old ones out. Get out of there! I don't need I don't need you. So we get the cap, push it down in like this, pull it up as much as you can. Put your spring in there. Let me get this cable up here because it's hanging on the floor. Like this. All right. So what I do is hold it with one hand. If you get this spring compressed, sometimes it wants to be a pain in the ass. Other people can do it like, oh, see, it ain't nothing. <laughs> but you hold it with one thumb. And you put your... Let's see, you put your cable in here like this, put it off to the side, like that, so your clippy drops down in, like that, and your spring just goes down on top of it, and there you go, that's how that goes on there. Then you just put it down on top of your carburetor. Remember, you want the the oval part going in the back towards your air box. And there's a guide in there that you use. You put the cap on there. Caps fit. I know. Sometimes these are a pain in the, you know, to get on there. No, it's not on there all the way. I gotta find out why. That's not what it's on there. But, I figures I do it when I'm in the middle of filming. <laughs> it's not wanting to go on there. But we'll put that back on there and like I said we'll do this side grab your cable and it goes down inside there well let's get the spring on there for or cap I'm sorry I'm getting ahead of myself put your cap on there yeah compress your spring then you put your cable inside of there a little bit to the side Put your, oh, I whipped it to the wrong side. I'm gonna go to this side. Because that clippy sometimes is a pain. Like that. Put your clippy in there. See, it only goes in there one way, your clippy. Like that. Like that. Then we'll grab the other carburetor. Like I said, that cutout goes towards the back. Right there. I like that. Why are this thing having fits today? I don't know. Tighten it down good. 
There's one card right there. Put your boot on there. Now, I might have to manhandle this one here a little bit. But it looks like just because of them uh, threads are uh, buggered up a little bit on the carburetor. All right, what we had to do with this cap here, man, off the camera, we we worked at it, worked at it, didn't we? Yeah. There was a burr on our threads on the carburetor, which we didn't see, so we had to go out and get our man-sized pliers and gun oil to oil this up a little bit so we can put this cap back on there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's on there now. It's, it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, you can see both of them are working. Bing, 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 bing. All right. So, yeah, they're working. That's how you do the delete the tours delete kit. Uh, they ain't that expensive. I think I only paid like $27, I do believe, for the delete kit. It wasn't very much at all. And, uh, I hope this was educational for you. I mean, it, I struggled with it there for a little bit, but like I said, once you uh, once you do it the first time, I kept everything uh, stock. I didn't change out the uh, jets yet. I'm gonna wait and see. And these air flows, I mean, like I said, uh, I adjust them out three turns. Uh, that should be, that should not pretty much start it up until we uh, fine tune it in a little bit, but that's a later date. Like I said, the, Big board kit I was going to get for this four wheeler. It was, I ain't going to get that one now because since I gave this four wheeler to my wife, and she always, the only thing she she wants it stock, she don't want it fast, fast. And I, like I said, the only thing I want to do to it is probably just the exhaust and the carburetors. Uh, and I think that's probably about it. I ain't gonna do anything else, but yeah, I hope you guys like that video. And if you haven't did it yet. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share, and check out our merchandise. Hit us up on the email. Say, hey, I want that shit. Because <laughs> we got a new design on the hoodies and the t-shirts coming out, and uh, we can get multi-colored shirts like pink and green and black and blue and gray and all kind of shit. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video. This is Bill. I'm out of here.